What is up? My name is Matt Workman and welcome to this virtual production vlog. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my process and workflow of doing motion capture with a metahuman and a prop, which in this case is clearly the chair. You can see that um, I'm pretty accurately grabbing the chair, or rather my CG double is, uh, it's the harder part. And I'm going to be going through my process and workflow for making this um, possible and ending up in a game engine for in-game use. So here we are in my home mocap volume. Those are my different mocap suits and different accessories. And an evolution of the setup is that when I'm capturing or calibrating, I actually put up this green screen here from Elgato and that keeps the cameras from seeing those extra markers which is important for the for certain parts. And this is a big 360 turnaround of my little mocap volume here and our star of the day, the chair. So this all starts with having an actual physical chair. In my case, I went for an actual chair because you could use boxes or speed rail or all sorts of different things. But I used a regular old Ikea chair and you'll see that I have uh, inelegantly just taped the markers onto the chair in these positions. So kind of front leg, back leg, and side. Then two on the back, one on the back leg here. Sorry for the shaky footage. And then another one on the front and side. So that's where I've put the markers in there, basically in a place that isn't going to conflict with my back markers on my actual body. From there, the most important part of this is actually 3D scanning the chair. So I used reality capture to do that. You just take a ton of pictures of it. You can use your phone, you can use anything. As long as generally the exposure is pretty similar between the photos, you're going to get something pretty good. Now, mine's pretty messy and gross because it is a very shiny object and I exposed it a little bit down. But however, we have enough data here that I can take this back into Maya or Blender or whatever. And you're going to basically just retopologize it or trace it. So here I am in Maya and uh, you can see the final topology and I didn't go like absolutely crazy matching it, but overall the proportions and thicknesses and whatnot are a pretty dead on match. And so what we're doing in this file is aligning the uh, virtual prop. And now this is very important as well. I mean, the whole thing, this whole process has to go right. But what you're seeing are basically locators um, from Shogun showing you where they are in 3D space. So then I take my 3D scan chair and I align the 3D scan chair that's been retopologized re and UV'd here for uh, Unreal Engine for games. And I do an alignment uh, within basically that like, you know, um, marker cloud. So it's a little confusing, but basically taking a 3D scan chair and what is pretty much again, just like 3D scan marker placements in Maya and aligning them. So here we are in uh, Shogun Live. This is like a preview. This is where you're going to record all your mocap. And uh, I'm using the chair as a preview mesh here. And you can see that the little yellow markers that are live markers uh, are aligning pretty perfectly to the chair. And so the first time I did this, I did this in a much looser fashion and the results weren't as good. This time around, much more precise on everything. And you can tell it here. Uh, this is live, so you can see that as I'm just kind of moving the chair around that, um, you know, it looks pretty physically accurate. Now, I'm on a carpet when I'm recording this, so the chair does kind of like squish into the ground and whatnot, but still, um, it's a pretty accurate lineup. And let me tell you that uh, where you cut corners on any of this process, this lineup doesn't go as well, and then the prop doesn't look as good. So next, we're in Shogun Post, so I've already recorded a take of my metahuman and the chair, and we're loading that take up here. And um, here you can kind of tell uh, where things went right, where they went wrong. And uh, Shogun Post is a little bit like Motion Builder in that I use this for my retargeting, which is an entirely different conversation. But it's basically how I get the animation from the Vicon skeleton to the metahuman skeleton. And um, most of what I show is live raw mocap, at least before this. But now because I'm getting this ready for game engine use, uh, I actually run this post-processing here and it's gonna clean up any of the occlusions or labeling issues. And you can really get into it if you want to to clean up the, the data here. Uh, next is to get the data out of Shogun Post. So you'll see that we have all of the chair data there. 
Uh, you export that with very specific settings that took me a very long time to figure it out uh, with the help of uh, Vicon. And then here right here, what I'm slowly unfurling is the uh, retargeted metahuman animation. So not like the Vicon animation from their skeleton, but it retargeted back to the metahuman skeleton. And actually, we could still strip out some bones and whatnot. But anyway, the, the whole retargeting and animation exporting workflow, there's still room to be um, done better. But uh, at this point, we're getting ready to bring it back into Unreal Engine. And here we are in my little test scene. We have the skeletal mesh chair that I made in Maya that's aligned. And uh, we have our animation. It's this one, yeah. Uh, the animation of the metahuman. Um, Pre-retargeted, there's no retargeting to do in Unreal Engine. There's new re um, retargeting tools in Unreal Engine 5, but we basically don't need those. I'm going to do that in... Uh, in uh, Shogun Post itself. And at this point, it's kind of important to bring up the fact that the metahumans are rigged to have um, their feet flat on the ground with no shoes. But when you add shoes to them, they actually, the shoe part, the sole goes into the ground. So that would require another cleanup pass or editing pass in Unreal Engine itself. But for now, I'm just kind of leaving it. You can see that we have uh, a metahuman and we have our chair and they both have their animations applied to it. And when you hit play, everything is aligned and playing synchronized. So temporally aligned, spatially aligned. The only real issue now is that my feet are through the ground, but you could basically bake to the control rig and then clean that all up. Uh, and if you're not interacting with props, you could just basically raise the actor off the ground about two or three centimeters. And uh, it would basically be fixed as long as like they're hands don't touch the ground and again they're not interacting with props that would throw off the alignment overall so that's the workflow it's pretty complicated that's a lot of different programs but i just wanted to record this um document it for myself for anyone else uh getting into this type of work or for people that are just interested like what goes into making something like this possible so for the rest of this video i am just going to put on some music and play the side by side of the um the live action capture and the final retarget rendered in Unreal Engine. Uh, this live would have looked pretty similar. Um, it's just a little bit nicer because we've run the post-processing. So it's just extra, extra smooth when it comes to the animation data, which Vicon Live is already really smooth, but this fixes any occlusion issues that may or may not happen, especially with my hands and the chair or the chair prop not having enough visible, etc., etc. So that wraps it up for this video, and I'll check you on the next one. Peace.